Hi Taurus, Eray Taronic here, Master Weaver of Mystery Suspense Thrillers as well as Broadcaster of Astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you uh, so that it helps you navigate the upcoming challenges of the month of July. If you'd like to learn more about E. Ray Taronic, the author, you can always hit the down bar. All of my links are there, as well as the links for the Healing Chakra Beads and, um, or can you see them? <laughs> and the Sun Catchers. Um, I thought it would be wonderful to do the video outside today, being that it's beautiful. It's summertime, you know, so let's all enjoy it. Um, that being said, let's get into why we're here. We're going over cancer season, actually the whole of July in its entirety, which will include a bit of uh, Leo season as well. Now, cancer season ranges from June 21st through July 22nd. It's the start of a new season. Okay, the cardinal water sign of cancer is ruled by the moon, making cancer uh, very in tune with their emotions. This zodiac sign rules the domicile. Nurturing the space around them is one of the most beautiful, beautiful characteristics of uh, the sign of cancer. And because they're ruled by the moon, their emotions are frequently changing. As moon cycles shift, so do their emotions. Um, you know, this month can have you... Uh, trying to find balance within your emotions as it pertains to work and home life, okay? Cancer is prompting you to nurture. Nurture your children, nurture your friends, your colleagues, your home, even your work projects. Put the work into encouraging growth and development on all levels across the board. And don't forget, you know, as I said, summer is here. So live, laugh, love. Let's get into some of the transits. Now, uh, Uranus, the planet of shocks and surprises, is in your sign, actually, uh, Taurus. And it will be there for the next six years, okay? So uh, Taurus actually range, it reigns over money, values, resources, and things like that. So all of these things are experiencing a drastic evolution. Now, the sun is in Cancer, um, keeping your focus on nurturing uh, your life and those around you. Okay, it's prompting you to put effort toward enriching what really matters to you, Taurus. Okay, and all of us, because I'm speaking to the collective as well right now. Now, on July the 22nd, the sun moves into the sign of Leo at zero degrees. Okay, now Leo rules the house of romance, creativity, and children. This is prompting us to get started on that creative project, or maybe even spend some time exploring with a love interest. Okay. I'll tell you how it affects your sign directly below. Mercury, the planet of communication, skills, sales, intellect, it went retrograde on July the 18th, uh, uh, June, I'm sorry, the 18th, in the sign of Cancer at 14 degrees. And we talked about being discerning as to whom you strike dealings with. This still applies, okay? Because the retrograde goes into until the 12th of uh, the 12th of July. You know, so you won't you won't have Mercury going direct in, until then. So, as I was saying, uh, you might find yourself in the midst of lazy, underhanded characters who mean to misuse your talents. Okay, but um, you know, soon it'll go direct, and uh, talks of home and family will definitely be a focus for you, uh, for all of us. Now, Venus, the sign of. Uh, the planet of romance, finances, abundance, pleasure. It's direct in Gemini, which means all of those areas are free to progress toward a steadfast abundance. Pleasure, romance, finances, and, and uh, abundance. Neptune, the planet of fantasy, inspiration, dreams, illusions, it remains retrograde in Pisces. Um, this transit will, of course, affect Pisces the most and can find you in a lazy, sharp-tongued mood. But try not to allow your mouth to hold your blessings at bay, okay? Don't block your blessings. And as always, with a retrograde, it's always a second chance to work on things. So past aspirations, past uh, delusions, illusions, <laughs> past fantasies will be something that you're dealing with right now uh, while Pisces is uh, while well, Neptune, I'm sorry, is retrograde, okay? It's gonna be for a, a, a while. 
Now, Mars is uh, still in Aries right now, where is it? Where it is exalted, which is wonderful for us as a collective. Our uh, competitive drive is back, and our ability to overcome hardships is heightened right now at this time. Okay. Charon goes retrograde on the uh, July the 11th uh, in Aries. I believe it's at nine degrees. Okay, so um, triumph uh, can be found. Healing can be obtained in love and or otherwise, even business. But only after you overcome some insecurities um, within, within yourself or, or within that. Yeah, within yourself, actually. Now, uh, Jupiter is conjunct on uh, June the 30th. Our lives are going through a huge rebirthing. Now, this is today that I'm doing the video. You won't see this until tomorrow, but this energy lasts, okay? Okay, so this Jupiter-Pluto conjunction is huge. It's favorable for making great strides in education and literature. It's in Capricorn, which deals with mastery and achievement, okay? Now, don't be afraid to try new things. You have to expand your repertoire, Taurus, okay? And all of us. Now, Jupiter, the planet of luck, expansion, even travel, sextiles Neptune at 20 degrees on July the 27th, bringing opportunity. This is the time to fulfill a long-held aspiration. And because Jupiter is conjunct, uh, was conjunct Pluto on the 30th, that was the kickstart to this, okay? Now, Saturn remains retrograde uh, until September the 29th, but it entered the sign or it enters the sign of Capricorn tomorrow on July 1st, which will be today for you because that's when you'll be seeing this. Uh, that's when this video will go up. Um, this is great for working on an artistic endeavor. Success can be achieved in creating something that will boost your status in the world. Okay, you can really make a name for yourself among your peers with that uh, Saturn quincunx, the true note. A quincunx is a favorable, uh, harmonious aspect, okay? Now, Pluto, the planet of rebirth, renewal, resources, is retrograde until October the 4th. During this time of revolutionary change, we must put effort towards self-care. Maintaining balanced emotions will be the key to staying grounded in logic this month, okay? With the massive propaganda being hurled at us by the media, we must be very discerning as to the information we allow to take root in our minds, okay? Trying not to go too far left or too far right can become a challenge in the upcoming months. Still, I beg of you to make every attempt to do so, okay? These, uh, you, you, you know, at, during these times, you must take steps, the steps you feel necessary to be healthy in mind, body, and soul, okay? Just don't allow yourself to be held back by fear. Don't allow fear to hold you stagnant. Stay safe, my friends, and remember to be kind to one another. That's very important right now. Now, the full moon on July the 5th is in the par is a, a, a partial lunar eclipse in the cardinal earth sign of Capricorn, okay? It's at 13 degrees of the south node. The south node deals with your karma. It's where you've already been. You have to pass these tests so that you get to where it is you're trying to go. This could deal with how you show up in the world because Capricorn is about achievement and mastery. And remember, I'm talking to everyone, the collective right now. Okay, the full moon brings things to a culmination. So whatever you've been manifesting comes to fruition, good or bad. The new moon on July 20th is in the cardinal water sign of Cancer at 28 degrees. This brings opportunity as any new moon does, okay? Now, because it's in the area of home and family and uh, security of the domicile, it could bring a chance to start a home-based business or to even build security within the home. But alas, the the moon, uh, the new moon is squaring uh, Mars and Aries, okay? So it's bringing challenges from hidden enemies. Be discerning as to whom you share your plans or strike dealings. Someone could be out to sabotage those new opportunities that are coming your way, okay? So let's see how this is going to affect you directly, Taurus. Now Taurus, as you know, ranges from May 20th, uh, April 20th through May 20th, okay? Um, right now, Uranus is in your sign, okay? So this is your area of self. You will be experiencing a drastic evolution and change in the area of self, in the area of identity, okay? 
Now, the sun is in Cancer uh, at the start of July. This keeps your focus on, as I said, nurturing those around you, prompting you to enrich what really matters to you. Now, Cancer focuses on your area of siblings and communication, okay? And it sextiles your sign. So this means an opportunity, a harmonious opportunity, a favorable opportunity is coming to you in communication and siblings and it has to do with your home your uh, or family and the domicile okay because those are the areas that are being targeted okay so again you have an opportunity a favorable opportunity coming your way as it pertains to home and family and communication and siblings now on July 22nd, the sun moves into the sign of Leo, which rules your sector of home and family, okay? During this time, you may face challenges with children in the home. It could even uh, be that the challenges uh, could be something like, uh, maybe something with your child takes precedence over uh, a creative endeavor, okay? So, or, or maybe you'll hit a snag in romance and you'll have to take extra care with that. Okay, and the reason I'm saying this, Taurus, is because you square Leo. So anytime you have a transit in the sign of Leo, you're going to incur your challenges in uh, in that area. You also square uh, Aries. So any oh, I'm sorry, Aquarius. So anytime you have uh, anything in Aquarius, you're gonna uh, uh, have challenges in that area as well. Okay, so just to uh, you know little fun fact just so you know that so I'm letting you know that you're gonna face challenges with children uh, possibly in the home because of the square to your sign that Leo has okay Taurus now so put extra care in that area when uh, the Sun moves into Leo on the 22nd home and family children um, as well as creativity now Mercury goes direct on July 12th at five degrees cancer driving communication forward in your sector of communication and siblings uh, talks are good because of the sextile lending you positive energy okay so uh, Taurus you are lent positive energy by cancer okay so anytime you have something in cancer, whenever the sun is in cancer, you'll get opportunities and things like that. You're, you're getting that positive energy from cancer, okay? Venus, uh, the planet of romance, finances, abundance, pleasure, is direct in Gemini. All these areas are free to progress now, okay? This blessing is in your house of personal finances, Taurus, okay? You see, Taurus? Gemini is the area of personal finances and personal resources for you, okay? So those have the green light to move forward now. Finances, romance, abundance, pleasure. Now moving along, Neptune, the planet of fantasy, inspiration, dreams, even illusions and delusions, remains retrograde in Pisces. It sextiles your sign though. So it brings you opportunities in that area to fulfill a past aspiration, a past dream, a past fantasy. Those are the things that you're working on right now. And you have a sextile there helping you out to try and help accomplish these goals, okay? Now, Mercury, the planet of challenges and energy, is still in Aries where, it's ex where it is exalted, okay? The abil our ability to overcome hardships is heightened. This impacts your area of inter inner reflection, self, okay? Oh, not necessarily self, but, but more so inner reflection. The inside, how you think, how uh, you feel, the things you're, uh, you need to work through, okay? So uh, th this is prompting you, uh, Taurus, to work through your insecurities, okay? And, and that, that is what you're doing. You're working through insecurities in that area because that's where Mars is. Now... On July the 11th, uh, Charon goes retrograde at 9 degrees Aries. Triumph and or healing can be obtained uh, in love, business, or otherwise, okay? As I said, you're, uh, you're overcoming challenges. This puts the focus in your area of sacrifice. You're healing old wounds in a relationship so that you can move forward. Do this. Do this inner work so that you can move forward more confident 
Now, Jupiter, the sign of abundance, luck, expansion, um, travel more so than than more so than abundance. It's more so about expansion and, and luck and, and travel. It sextiles Neptune at 20 degrees on July the 27th, bringing opportunity. It's time to fulfill a long held aspiration with the help of a friend where it pertains to you, Taurus. Okay. Now, um, which means, you, you know, a, a friend will will be your helping hand in that area. Saturn entering Capricorn on July 1st influences your ninth house of travel and education. Your actions help determine how your karma plays out. You do have a trine bringing you blessings in that area, that area of uh, travel, education, um, philosophy, you know, how you uh, perceive things. Saturn is quincunx the true node at 28 degrees of Capricorn on July 16th. This is great for working on an artistic endeavor. Success can be achieved in creating something that will boost your status in the world. You can really make a name for yourself among your peers. This is in your area of education, travel, and philosophy. So the way you think, the way that your beliefs, your education, you could be uh, taking a class, finishing a class, or uh, faring well in a class. A travel. You could be getting a vehicle, repairing a vehicle, getting a vehicle you've always wanted, um, getting a vehicle that will boost your reputation. Um, things like that could be at play. Now, the full moon partial lunar eclipse on July the 5th is in the south node. It affects your area of travel, beliefs, education. As you know, it deals with your karma. The south node always deals with your karma, where you've already been things you need to overcome so as I said let's hope you pass these tests so that you get to where it is you're trying to go Taurus okay this could deal with how you show up in the world because Capricorn does deal with mastery and achievement okay as it pertains to your travel education and your beliefs got it okay that's July the 5th now, the new moon on July the 20th in the cardinal water sign of Cancer affects your area of siblings and communication. Now, it's going to square Mars and Aries over here. Um, so you're going to expect challenges in that area. Like I said, hidden enemies. So be discerning as to whom you share your plans with or who you strike up dealings with. You do have a sextile helping out that, uh, that, those challenges because of that square. So that'll lend you positive energy to help you balance things out, Taurus. Mercury is retrograde until, until July the 12th. So that's a time to work on things, not to launch. I want you to remember that as you're going through and you're, uh, you're working on these new opportunities, okay? Um, actually, you'll have the green light then because that new moon is on July the 20th. So it's kind of within the shadow uh, you know, period still of Mercury retrograde, but you should be good, you know, then. Okay, Taurus? Okay, so thank you so much for uh, going over the month of July with me, Taurus. I hope you have a wonderful month, and I'll see you in August.